Hello, it's me, Spunky Webster, and joining me tonight on Pricks on Film is another one of our great modern day entrepreneurs. It is none other than Wayne Fontaine himself from Fontaine, Fontaine and Fontaine Enterprises. Hello, thank you Spunky. No worries, no worries. Where do we begin, eh? It's been a journey. It's been a long journey, Spunky, a long journey. Um, I mean, excuse the pun, but I've... I've come a long way with these shoes. Let's get to the Let's start with the basic question, lad, eh? What's your inspiration behind all of your products? Well, it came from God, mainly. I was, um, yeah, in upstairs. The, God bless you. The big guy, the big shoemaker in the sky. Yeah. Oh. And, um, <laughs> I guess uh, before I was working in a sweet shop, when, uh, you know, before I got into the shoes, um, put on a lot of weight and I got type 3 diabetes. Type 3? Type 3. The worst. Right. So, um, so I thought I've got to do something a bit different. Mm. Couldn't find any inspiration at all. And then I said, I said a message from God. He said... Uh, what did he say? He said, well, Wayne, uh, what you need to do, you need to get yourself over to Italy, kill a cow, get the leather from the cow, I make a load of fucking shoes. Well, that's what I just did. Wow, what a story! Eh? Hello again, Spunky. Uh, let's let's kick off where we were. I mean, we were talking about how you, uh, you know, got the message from God. You you know you saw the light. But why why did God send the uh, message for shoes? Why not jackets? I mean, it's infamous infamous trade in Italy at the time and still now. Does he know? God, he's always liked his shoes. Um, you know, he made a lot of things apparently in this world, but um, both the Old Testament and the New Testament failed to point out that he did love um, making his shoes, especially high heels. He was quite partial to um, a high heel or two. Um, I mean, why why shoes, not jackets? Um, jackets are very very complicated to make. Shoes are a lot easier. Um, I'm gonna take this one. Call this the wooden bastard. It's a, it's a lovely shoe. It's, it's a beauty. lovely shoe. It's a beauty. One of my favourites, to be honest. It's one of the um, biggest sellers, you know. It's, uh, it's simple, oh. not me. Yeah. But, um, you know, I mean, I mean, this is so much more sexy than a, than a fucking jacket. True, true. But, you know, people will want to know you have got an expertise in this area. Are you going to expand out of the shoe line or do you feel a bond? With the shoe. Do you feel a bond with the shoe? Is that is, is that what it is? It's a bond with the shoe. I feel bonded to shoes. Yes, I'm very very bonded. Bonded. You bonded. It's <laughs> cut. <laughs> what an absolute arsehole. I see what you're saying, Wayne, and it's, it's quite inspiring, I think, for many people. Your story, you know, the rags to riches thing. But what we want to know is, I think, for all the people at home. You can't have any jack of the lad, you know, building shoes, making money, and being a success. How do you go about the process? Fuck's sakes, I'm so bored. Well, as anything in the creative industry, the process starts off with an idea. In the noggin? In the noggin, oh. an idea. Beautiful. I, I, I get ideas coming into my head from when I wake up to when I have food, I have a shower, ideas, 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 and then more ideas but what's important is after you get that idea is you you implement the idea mm. and um, this starts off with a drawing so this is a boot i'm working on called princess margaret sweaty grumble um, set to be a very very big seller so i get the idea and, but, then, I, and then i draw the idea okay. oh this guy's a wanker and his shoes are shite I get this idea down to the factory Da, down at Mill. Da, ah, you know what, it's in Darlington. Uh, uh, I give it to the factory worker. He makes a boot. Bob's your uncle. You got your, your Princess Margaret sweaty grumble boot. In your shops. Job done. 
it's a great name, it's very catchy and what's the retail for this? It's a glorious boot, may I say. I mean, the Princess Maggie boot, you look at about 450 quid. A bargain, a bargain folks, a bargain. But it does come with a royal stamp. Wow. And a bad smell. Um, that's incredible, it's incredible, it really is. This one particularly kind of, it looks like a rabbit. It's, it, it, animals, you know, they kind of are inspiration for yourself. Do you love the animals? I love animals. Yeah. I love animals. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, brilliant. Um, I do love rabbits. Everyone loves a rabbit, love especially in our life. <laughs> So, 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 we've got the successful business so far, it's, it's expanding rapidly, you've got the Northern Shops, you've got Darlington, Leeds, and do that, dress like that in there. But you know, what I want to know is, have you got any further plans for expansion? If so, where and what? Oh, <coughs> we are, we're aiming high, but um, we are thinking of opening a shop in Whitby. Oh, big, big competition down there. Oh, I know, I know, I know, but we've got a little bit of a, um, bit of a special edge on our uh, business plan for this one. We're actually, um, we're going to concentrate on leather flip-flops. Um, I don't know A company the leather flip-flops would be um, leather swimming trunks, tight leather swimming trunks. Purely for the Whitby uh, crowd, um, we think it's going to be a game changer. Change my game. Uh, it's going to be a different sort of variation of zips on the swimming trunks. There could be, you know, attachments from the swimming trunks to the flip-flops. It's, um, it's a new world. It's a brand new world. Um, I mean, it's all out there, Spunky. It's all out there. It's just, it's just you've got to take it. You've got to grab life by, by the, the shoes. shoes. Hey, huh? uh, same way of hey. And that's a wrap from us. Join us next week when we will have some other twat in. Good night, stay classy enough.